Okay, so to finish out this video, so once you find your control point, so we walked over here, our base is located up over here. Okay. I generally like to face in the direction of my base station when I do shoot in the control points as well. You don't have to, but I like it. Okay, so this is this is control point 308. So they did a really good job for me to find this. Sometimes they're not this obvious. They have a circle or a triangle around it. So you're gonna take your pole and you're gonna put it directly on, on your pinhead. And there's a little dimple there. You wanna make sure that's sitting straight up there. Then on your stick, you're gonna have this bubble. Okay. Let's see if I can get here zoomed in. Okay, so you're gonna have this bubble. You wanna make sure you're standing directly over that, that that thing is centered perfectly. Okay. So right here, <clears throat> it, on cloudy days, I don't know what it's doing, but sometimes on cloudy days, I swear that it affects this. And uh, it is cloudy and overcast today, and it, it bounces in between between being uh, initialized and not so you want to make sure this goes solid green it's having a little bit of problems right now okay once that dough goes in and it is initialized and it stays initialized and you go into data control you can go to control points control points okay and this is 308 so I'm gonna look I'm gonna go to I'm gonna find 308 here it's 304. Okay, here's CP 308. Okay, I've already done my northings and eastings and elevation on this particular point. If I go to GPS, this is where I select horizontal, and vertical. This is what I got to do in order to shoot it in. Okay, and it'll find latitude and longitude and height when I do this. Okay. And now while I'm all ready and everything, I've selected those boxes, I'm gonna come here and hit measure. And this is how you shoot that point. It's just gonna measure, initialized, it's telling you it's initializing. Okay. And now this is shooting that point. Okay, there it is. It's finished. So I got latitude and longitude and height, and it's selected. Now, as I hit OK, you can see if I click on another one, that should be green color. If that goes red at all, you got to look over what the survey numbers give you and record all of them, and they all should be green. Okay, they might vary between um, a half a thousandth or a half a tenth, a few hundredths. Uh, half a tenth is is the minimum that you want on this so you do not want any numbers less than half a tenth okay that's just a demonstration for one i'm going to go around and shoot in all three of those all of the other three of those and uh, that's how you shoot in a project after that you're good uh, your localization's good you're, you'd be good enough to start your machine up and start running at that point so hope you like the video like and subscribe